Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Sunday, June 26, 2016, around 3.34 in the afternoon in Bellwecker, Massachusetts. It's a hot one today, but humidity is reasonable. Some news to report. Texas Rangers crushed the Boston Red Sox last night by a score of 10 to 3. The low spinners are 9 and 0. Today they could go for a perfect 10 and 0. That would be very good. They're, they're filling up the stadium in Lalasha Park because they're on a hot streak, a big, big winning streak. And maybe this will continue to have the momentum for them to make the playoffs. They haven't made the playoffs since they've been in existence that much. And. Colombia beats USA by a score of 1-0 in the third place for the Copa America Soccer Tournament. Well, the USA finished pretty good, fourth place. And that's about it on My first video blog subject of the day is the top 10 sports teams that are missed. This is a very, very impressive list. Some of these teams are no longer in existence because they moved to other cities. None of these teams on here folded. They're in other cities now. Number 10, number 10 on this list of the top 10 sports franchises that I missed are the Cincinnati Royals. The Cincinnati Royals played from 1957 through 1972 in Cincinnati, Ohio, Cincinnati Garden. They were a great, exciting team. They had Jerry Lucas and Oscar Robinson, who averaged a tip, triple double um, during his career. They gave the Celtics a run for their money in the Eastern Conference Finals a few t times in the 1960s, and they almost came within one game of ending the Celtics dynasty. That's pretty amazing. But the fans did not support the Royals after they got rid of Oscar Robinson and they moved to Kansas City, Omaha, and then eventually to Sacramento. And they're the Sacramento Kings now. Number nine on this list of the top ten sports franchises that I missed the most, the sports teams that I missed the most, the original Winnipeg Jets. The original Winnipeg Jets started in the WHA in 1972, named after Bobby Hull, who was nicknamed the Golden Jet. They had success in the WHA, and then when they went into the NHL, they had a decent success, but they never got out of the second round of the playoffs, and they've had to face off either against Calgary or Edmonton, which had amazing teams back in those days. And in 1996, um, with the Canadian dollar shrinking and no public support for a new arena, the original Winnipeg Jets moved to Phoenix, Arizona to become the Phoenix Coyotes, eventually the Arizona Coyotes. But Ron was right in 2011 when the Atlanta Thrashers moved to Winnipeg and were renamed the Winnipeg Jets. Number eight on this list of the top ten sports franchises that I missed the most the Houston Oilers. The Houston Oilers were an NFL team that played for about 35 years in Houston. They were original AFL franchise. And then they w went into the NFL with the 1970 merger. They had some very exciting teams. Warren Moon was, was their quarterback. Also, Earl Campbell. They made a few AFC title games, but did not win the big one to get over the hump. There was problems in the mid-1990s trying to replace the, the Houston Astrodome. They couldn't get a deal done, so they moved to Tennessee. They kept the Oilers' name until 1999 when they moved into a new uh, arena in Nashville. Nicknamed the, Nash I mean the Tennessee Titans. Number seven on this list of the top ten sports franchises that I missed is the Quebec Nordiques. The Quebec Nordiques started in the WHA in 1972. Then they joined the NHL in 1979. They had a great rivalry with the Montreal Canadiens. Also, they had some great plays. Anton Statsny, Peter Statsny, Marion Statsny, um, Michel Goulet, and Joe Sackick, among others. But the economics 
of the NHL was changing. Quebec City was the smallest market for the NHL at the time. They could not get any support for a new arena and many star players did not want to play in Quebec City because um, French is spoken there, 90% of the people, and in 1995 they were moved out of Lake Colisee to move to Colorado and we branded the Colorado Avalanche and next year, 1996, they won Stanley Cup Championship and the NHL is trying to get back into Quebec. They had a they had like a proposal for an expansion team, but they've been deferred due to the weakening Canadian dollar and geographical imbalance. But one of these days, Quebec City will get back the North Beach either through expansion or an existing ten moving there. Number six on this list of the greatest sports franchises that I missed is the Minnesota North Stars. The Minnesota North Stars won expansion team in 1967. They played 27 year, I mean 26 years in Duluth, I mean Bloomington, Minnesota, the Met Center. They had some decent success. They made two Stanley Cup finals, had some great exciting players like Dino Cicerelli, Don Boupre, Brian Bellows, Mark Tonorti, Kurt Giles, John Casey, and a few others, but they had trouble getting a, a support to replace the aging Met Center, and in 1993, they were moved to Dallas, Texas, and we landed the Dallas Stars, but in 2000, the NHL bought a brought an expansion team to Minnesota and the Minnesota Wild. Number five on this list of the, of the top ten sports franchises that I missed the most, St. Louis Rams. St. Louis Rams were from 1995 to 2006 -15. They moved from Los Angeles to play at the Edwin James Dome. They only had four winning seasons, but during the late 90s and early 2000s, they were the graded show on turf. Had Kurt Warner, Marshall Falk, and a couple of others. They won one Super Bowl, Super Bowl 34. They almost won Super Bowl 36. But after um, Kurt Warner and Marshall Falk basically retired, the, the Rams were mediocre. They never had a winning season after 2004. And they're back in Los Angeles. Number four on this list of the top ten sports franchises that I missed the most, the Brooklyn Dodgers. The Brooklyn Dodgers were around for many, many years, from the 1890s to 1950s. They had a great rivalry with the New York Giants and the New York Yankees. They had some awesome players like Duke Snyder and Jackie Robinson and Roy Campanella and among others. They would always have Subway Series against the New York Yankees. New York Yankees won most of them, but in 1955, the Dodgers won them. And in 1957, the rivalry was ended when the, when the Dodgers and the Giants moved out west. And, and they were rebranded the Los Angeles Dodgers. Number three on this list of the greatest sports franchises that I missed, the Montreal Expos. The Montreal Expos played in the National League from 1969 through 19, I mean 2004. They played at Jerry Park. And then at the Olympic Stadium, they were an up-and-coming team many years, but they couldn't keep their stars because they couldn't afford them. And they tried to get a new stadium, but the government in Quebec did not want that. It fell through. And in 2004, they moved out of Montreal to Washington, D.C., and we branded the Washington Nationals. But there's a push to get Major League Baseball back in Montreal. Number two on this list of the top ten sports franchises that I missed the most is the Hoffett Whalers. The Hoffett Whalers um, started in 1972 in the WHS. The New England Whalers playing their first couple of seasons in Boston at the Boston Garden and moved to Springfield. And eventually Hoffett in 1979, they were rebranded the Hoffett Whalers. And they had decent success in the NHL. They had some decent players like Ray Ferraro, Michael Leut, Dave Tippett, and Ron Francis. They only won one playoff series during their existence in Hoffett. And they had a, a decent rivalry with the Boston Bruins. But 
half its own between New York City and Boston. They could not get Sakalian for, for, for funding for a new arena. So in 1997, they moved to Carolina and became the Carolina Hurricanes. There's some trouble in Carolina. I think one of these days, the Hurricanes should move back to Hartford and we be the Hartford Whalers again. Number one on this list of the top ten sports teams that I miss the most, the Seattle Supersonics in the NBA. Seattle Supersonics tour around well for 41 years, 1967 through 19, no, 2008. They had some exciting teams. 1971, nine, they won the NBA championship. In the 1990s, they had Sean Kemp and Gary Payton and a few others. Uh, well, powerhouse in the Western Conference made the 1996 NBA Finals, but they lost in six games to Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls when Clay Benton bought them in the 2000s. He didn't like Key Arena and he pressured the state of Washington to build him a new arena but they balked at it because Key Arena was renovated in 1995 and they said that was they're good as new and he sold them in 2000 he moved them in 2008 to Oklahoma City and became the Oklahoma City Thunder the city of Seattle's missing out on Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant an exciting duel but one of these days the, NH, uh, the NBA will be back in, in in Seattle with a new arena and that might be a hold up for an for the NHL expansion because the NHL really wants to go to Seattle. That's about it on that. Be back with the second final video blog of the night which will be about the SEC Network powered by ESPN Worldwide Elite in Sports. Keep calm everybody. I know but Julie Pitting Guy, Molly Rose Blood of WCCOX and his nice legs, Elizabeth Hot Social Stunning, she's best, Amy Swensey's awesome, Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 in New York is such a cool guy and has nice legs and Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out! Bye now.